Um, today we're going to be working on, I'm going to call this the, uh, the flower falchion and it took me a while to kind of find out, I was like, what kind of sword shape is this thing? You know, this is the next one on our list and, um, it has kind of a unique shape. Um, where it's got the flat front and the curved back and the closest that I thought was a falchion. I got some references in ahead of time before I even did the line work because I want to start thinking more of these as paintings and textures rather than just the shapes. Something I'm working on. Um, and instead of the skull, I feel like the skull is a little overplayed. It doesn't match with the rest of it. I want to have this be like a little flower right here got little spikes here the shape is very curvy and elegant i thought instead of a skull like those old school sun things and i found this tattoo that somebody did and i was like oh it's really cool so i kind of like this uh this forward viewing face kind of stone or metal looking um, i'm not going to do the, the moon but i liked the way that this was so i'm going to do kind of a maybe a version of this simplified right here Normally, I would start out these drawings with the symmetry tool, and this one is not. <laughs> this one's not going to get started out with that at all. Just like only thing symmetrical on this is going to be this piece. <laughs> That's it. I also get excited to go to the gym. I've been killing it on the stairs lately. It's exhausting. In a good way, though. It's challenging. Your 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 body is like, what are you doing? Stop. Stop this nonsense. And you're like, no. No. Looks like an R. for rude don't be rude I'm trying to make sense of these shapes as I'm drawing them because I notice sometimes when I do the blade I'm like I'll figure it out later when I'm painting and then, I, and then it's like way too much work so I'm thinking that this, let's see, thinking that this is an edge, so that goes like this, then it goes like this. This whole piece is flat, and then these two spots dip in slightly, like little, little curves. I think that's what I'm thinking. The early teenage years was the worst with my younger siblings. <laughs> oh man, morbid ordeal was, he's like fine. He was a great younger brother. <laughs> he still is. H North LOL, I'm living for it. I found myself laughing way too hard with them. <laughs> you know what my favorite thing is? And once I noticed it, I couldn't unnotice it. Um, which is how um, sometimes mom mom and dads will get really caught up in the uh, teenage drama of their children, which is cool, right? Because they're listening and they're figuring that stuff out. But I love it when you ask an adult, you know, somebody's 40 or 50, you're like, hey, how's it going? What's new? And they go, oh, you wouldn't believe it. And they start telling you about the drama of like some person at their school kids school and i'm like ah that's kind of teenager stuff they'll figure <laughs> they'll figure it out listen they live for the teen drama yeah it's probably better it's somebody else's drama than yours <laughs> morbid ordeal most important thing things are wristbands evil bam hot topic the warp tour etc <laughs> every time
Um, it's pretty wonderful to walk into Hot Topics just anytime. They're great because they still play. They know their audience and they still play the same music. It's like a decade old and they still dress the same, which is like a decade old. It's amazing. I'm just going to follow the lines that I'd kind of done before. Except. Instead of a skull, we're going to do a little sun. <laughs> oh, you know what I should do? <laughs> and Lynn is a cat. <laughs> it does kind of look like a cat with the things tipped up. I might tip them back. Um, but I want to see how it looks like this first. Here, if I went like this. <laughs> the cat blade. <laughs> Perfect, perfect. Good correction, you caught yourself. Yeah, this could just be the cat blade, the catnip blade. <laughs> it looks super ominous. Oh wait, actually I gotta make sure, I'm using the symmetry tool, so I gotta make sure that if I shift it, I'm not moving it left or right at all. I made the mistake of doing that on <laughs> another piece. Hmm. So this is kind of interesting. I'm trying to um, not just directly copy what they have, but also trying to draw like one of those old sun things. <laughs> it's like kind of interesting. Um, I've really drawn something in this kind of a style before. Generally, if I can imagine the shape turning around in my head, um, and just thinking about what it would look like, uh, you know, rotated, I can sort of paint it okay. But if I have trouble imagining what the actual 3D shape of it is, I have a heck of a lot of trouble. I uh, saw Mortal Kombat last night, the, uh, the reboot, and I super, super enjoyed it. It's freaking ridiculous. Um, the dialogue was insane. <laughs> uh, like they would just go into these huge sections of oh, for the such and such clan and my father, he had to battle through 2700 demons to learn this technique. And it was just like the whole movie. And Lynn and I kept looking at each other saying, what, what are they saying? What do they mean? <laughs> It was so good. It was awesome. The uh, um, fight scenes were incredible. I thought they did such a good job on them and it absolutely has this sort of video game feel. It has the feel of old Kung Fu movies and modern Kung Fu movies. Um, yeah, it was very enjoyable. I would. I already kind of want to see it again. I don't know if I'll go into the theater to see it, but. Okay, now I'm going to do a. I'm going to do another symmetry, except I'm going to rotate. Lock it onto the center of the circle. And do it for these spikes. Boom. Ooh, this thing's looking sharp. Ouch. Okay. Yeah, we're turning that smoothing all the way down. It's like turning off your targeting computer when you're making a bombing run on the Death Star. Okay. 
gosh, you guys, you guys always give me such cool ideas. <laughs> like literally everything I've painted on stream has specifically been better because people suggested something that I wouldn't have thought of. Just saying, I appreciate it. Too many, <laughs> too many spikies. Let's try a little less. Let's try, I did seven. Let's do transform symmetry. Oh no, it won't let me change that, okay. So I'm gonna do mandala and then let's do five instead of seven. Let's try that. Never really use the mandala tools like this. This is pretty fun. Like when I'm drawing, it's having pretty un unexpected effects. <laughs> squares look kind of cool on the edge rather than trying to do spiky shapes doing these like radial looks almost more like Mayan and leaves oh it's it's so delicate right before it just stabs you you know like pretty much all of these shapes i could i think i could i back in the day i would have drawn them and i would have only known how they looked exactly at the view you were looking at them but this spike I can draw it from uh, from the top. It would be like, oh, Dan is calling me. He always calls me when I'm streaming. Hold up. What up, Dan? Bro, dude, can you get me like, do they have those chicken fries? That's Burger King, right? <laughs> the shape is weird. What was this? What was I drawing? What is this thing? What am I doing? Who am I? Why is this sun staring at me? Okay, that's it. We're going to the Hall of Inspiration, <laughs> aka Pinterest. We got this guy going today. Oh, cool. Dude, that's great. Thanks, man. That's what I'm trying to figure out what to do with the bottom. Face, dude, the eyes and nose and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's coming along. We're figuring it out. I'm blessed. Hashtag blessed. Oh my gosh, it has a dipping tray. It has a dipping tray <laughs> built into this. Yo, I don't know if y'all have ever seen this. I'm not at Burger King very often. Look at this. This is incredible. It says double dipping, strongly encouraged. All right, Burger King. Wow, well, we're in the middle of a pandemic. I know. It's yeah. I'm going to give myself the old, the Rona. <laughs> Morbid Ordeal says, oh, damn, that makes me hungry. Hungry for Dan. <laughs> 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 Sorry, dude. <laughs> Morbid. Or whatever you <laughs> Morbidly obese. <laughs> I think Dig is my favorite Mudvayne song. Yeah. Dude, this song is so good.
Okay, yeah, look at this. <laughs> yeah, get that right up right up here. Look at that. Just a single nugget, a single <laughs> fry, and then the onion rings that I actually wanted. <laughs> just some wagey is just like fuck it. <laughs> throw it. it. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> Something I'm trying to show is that if <clears throat> when a glass bottle is filled, there actually is a little bit of space you'll see between the liquid and the bottle part of it to show how thick it is. Um, what else did I do? Oh, we watched um, The Social Network. It was basically... It was just a David Fincher movie that's basically a hit piece on Mark Zuckerberg, kind of before it was cool. They did that when Facebook was at its time. It was in the peak. I think a lot more people liked it. And now people are kind of seeing it for what it is. The sweet baby Ray's story? <laughs> what? Should I look this up? Is that what you mean? You know that video, right? The Zuck talking about smoking meats? like a vague vague memory so i think we need to check this out smoking ah! it's smoking so i'm the meat guy <laughs> yeah someone asked me do i smoke meat smoking meat smoking these meats smoking meats earlier than he uh i will give him this he seems really focused incredibly focused um on smoking meats She's waiting for her ribs. I mean, she she knows what's coming and sweet. Uh, this is uh, if you've tuned into one of my earlier streams, um, and I want and I want to give him some leeway where it's due, because during my streams too, when I would start doing art, I would get nervous and I would talk about sweet baby rays a lot too. If you look back on my old beginning stuff, I am literally just couldn't stop mentioning baby rays. It's kind of a tick some people have and you know I don't want to judge too harshly I, I mean watching this is making me nervous enough I might talk about that sauce the, the sweet baby rays again baby rays sweet baby rays it's so weird okay we're just gonna going for broke i'm literally just erasing it and doing it again <laughs> this is a way easier way to do it than i was doing it oh my gosh i felt like <laughs> the way i was doing it was saving myself time and now i i see i see the error in my past ways <laughs> okay I think my my MO lately has been to just hang on uh on to you know new new formats, new apps, whatever. Just just hang out and then as soon as they are like super monetizing something, then it's like, ah, gotta go. <laughs> on to the next startup. <laughs> um Ultimately, right here, I'm just going back and forth on these shapes a lot. Um, I'm still not quite sure generally how wood, like how to paint it in a way that makes me happy. Um, 
so it kind of goes back and forth. Do something like that. There it is. Check it out, everybody. Liminal Times, the third AP from Walls at All is available everywhere. Check out the listening companion for lyrics, notes, and credits. You can take the survey and let us know your favorite song. 2021, breath holding intensifies. Andrew has been busy in general, but also busy in the studio working on new Walls at All music. Some remote collaboration is, of course, going on. Andrew is currently working on the indie pop duo Space Hug on some excellent coming upcoming material. If you ever need bass, get in touch with my man here. Oh, I really like this one. Yoink. Yep. <laughs> um, it was really cool um, I used to play with Andrew back in the day and I had known him as a bass player extraordinaire and sometimes he would hop on the drums and tool around but then I saw one of his shows and saw him sing and play, and I was like, holy shit, I had no idea <laughs> you were this good at this. It's like one of those things where some of your some of your friends' endeavors, maybe if it's not super great and you still want to support it and, you know, do that thing, but it was it was always great because Andrew's music was never something I had to pretend to like. I was like, this is awesome. And I'm hearing some horns in the background of this, so no doubt at one point Andrew was in his space working on the horns, much like he is tonight. Man, you guys, thanks for hanging out. This is this is so much fun. I love, love, love shooting the shit and and drawing. This is my this is my happy place. Net Ninja, I'll be chill vibing, cleaning my room. Awesome. I hope you get some ASMR going. And I'm using, you can see these little sections as reference for the for the blade because I'm still still kind of learning everything void carrot ironically says my next drawing is going to be a void carrot <laughs> it's only the it's it's only right I mean the universe has called for it hmm I swear every time I painted a blade, it's just like <laughs> painting and then going back and forth at, at least 15 times. If you do if you do 15 times back and forth, you can really know if you like it or not. It's key. Drave says, I think the red looks really good on it. Cool. Thank you. And I'm I'm experimenting with um on let me change my brush setting here let's go to main brush okay so i like the idea that on this side we have a lot of the warm color coming through to make this red really really stand out and then i thought this blue looked really cool next to this metal and i thought it'd be cool to have kind of cooler bluer things over here make a little icicle Brr, or like a, a snowman there <laughs> so i have cool light coming this way and warm light coming this way and then that uh, kind of creates a little contrast, but I'm finding it hard to get the blue in without making the red look a little awkward. So we'll see. I think it's just gonna, it's gonna take some finessing. 
Um, and by finessing, I mean just painting it and uh, trying a bunch of times. <laughs> Boyd Carrot says, same, awesome, you like it too. You got the campfire going and the top hat. Yeah, the top hat's the only way to go. I could put a top hat on this guy too. Yes. Very distinguished. Yes. Very distinguished gentleman. Mm hmm. H North. I'm okay. Had a big day. Got a new gig. So that's good. How are you? Man, you just, you've been making moves. Got the new gig. Um, is how many days have you been working there? Um, that is great news. How am I? I am doing very well. Um, this last week at my job has been super busy. And uh, so I'm excited to relax with y'all and um, paint. Void Carrot. Relax and paint. That's where it's at. I'm telling you, Void Carrot knows what's up. And Void Carrot's next drawing is going to be a Void Carrot. Or so I've been told. H. Norris says, yes, paint. I will. I feel oddly encouraged to relax, even though I, um, you typed in all caps. I felt the relaxation. Morbid Ordeal says... Hey, buddy, <laughs> looking amazing. Thank you. Crow add on, that's cool. Hey there, Drave. Drave says hi. <laughs> the sword has a little bit bigger of, of a gap down here than I want. So, what I'm actually going to do is lasso tool this section. Yoink. And then go to my old friend the free warp and I'm going to super just very gently scooch it over <laughs> and then what I'm doing is I'm adjusting on the left side of the screen and then I'm looking at the right side of the screen so I can kind of see what I'm doing Something like that. So I'll hit enter and that commits the change. Now, because I've moved it over slightly, I have a little bit of the seam showing here, but that's okay because if I take a brush at 60% opacity and I just kind of color drop and paint in over it in about 10 seconds, it's just gone. And just like that, we've adjusted. So now, when I take my highlight and go on this edge, maybe some orange. Kind of looks like it's like dropping into the fold, maybe. It's at least what I'd like to, like it to seem like. It's so cool to see the um, the symbols next to your guys's name. I know that's such a small thing, but it makes me really excited because it's uh, it'll kind of start to distinguish 
uh, some of my OGs. <laughs> And then I'm going to eventually get it where people can redeem the channel points, the comp like the compass coins for some random emotes, which will be pretty cool. So this is looking a bit minty right now. So I'm going to go in here and find a gray that is not minty. <laughs> Very technical. Thank you for tuning in. What did the five fingers say to the face? <laughs> they said it was coming back to Netflix on IGN. Yeah, it's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's still up. It, hopefully they don't take it down because I want to watch it again. Part of making this thing look like stone is not having a perfect outline. So you can see, obviously here, you know, I've got this really pristine, here, I'll do a brighter color, a really pristine circle, right? But if it's stone, these facets are going to bump out. So I'm gonna work a little bit on that. Oh, Morbid Ordeal dropped a link. And I think this isn't gonna be Rick Astley, but we'll see. <laughs> yes. Oh, my internet's going to be so dumb right now. <laughs> yeah, you're going to want to watch that one, Drave. It's definitely not Rick Astley. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> yep that is that will always make me laugh forever and ever amen whoops um i was thinking about how much i love the pop copy sketch <laughs> um which has been revitalized by the stock community saying <laughs> why bankrupt hedge funds because fuck them that's why <laughs> uh so good I'm starting to um, I'm noticing that a lot of the shapes that I drew initially were kind of more rounded and I want them to look like they were carved. So um, like this shape, for instance, I went in and added a facet on the top of it. Same with this one. So I'm, I'm kind of just pushing and pulling these back and forth and I'm looking for things that indicate that this is this is stone that it has uh been carved very carefully from its kind of natural shape and then once i get all of the shapes sort of indicated then i can go back in and add little divots and imperfections to make them actually look like crazy carved stones. So now that Photoshop has the symmetry tool. Does it have the procreate feature that lets you draw shapes when you hold them? No, it does not, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, that's like my favorite thing on Procreate though. It's so nice to just draw a little egg shape and then it's like, do you mean this? Did you want to draw this?
<laughs> I can forgive Adobe only because Wacom tablets have much better handling and they feel easier to control than the Apple Pencil. Yeah, the 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 Wacom for me is it's just smoother. It feels much more like actually drawing. Um, the Apple Pencil is a little bit too smooth. But that being said, I've I've made pieces I've really enjoyed on both, but. The Apple Pencil is so wonky. Yeah, I have the, uh... let's go to the camera here. I got this thing on mine that extends it out because I have big, I'm, I'm 6'3", so I have big beefy hands and I need this because when I have little, when I'm drawing with a little tiny pencil, oh, stressful. So the extra features that help stabilize it, I don't think Wacom needs it. Even their non-Centique tablets are fine. Big boy. <laughs> yeah, right now I'm on 9% smoothing and it's because I forgot it on from work to like even go to zero. The only time there is one brush I use for my main job, I have my, my animation brush here. And uh, sometimes when I draw a quick line like this, it will um, leave a blob at the end. Like it'll go like this and then it'll go like that. And I never intend to. It doesn't seem to be doing it today. But see that little, that is kind of annoying. Some days it plays nice, today it's not doing it at all. But usually if I turn it up to like five or 10% and then I do that, see how much it's like way more comic-y. So that's what I do. That's what I do. That's what I do. All right. Ellen says, LOL, I've been using Photoshop for drawing for about a decade. And I didn't know that smoothing did that. <laughs> Uh, it's so nice. It yeah. It, it, I think it helps with the lift off of the the pen at the end. <laughs> Big cringe pilled. Yeah, don't you want to be a Uber hog daddy? <laughs> She gets paid the big bucks for this, a professional. Hey, you've shown me a lot. I was making a Christmas card for a for a friend. They hired me to make a band photo for them, <laughs> but they were just their roommates. And uh, Ann Lynn came in and showed me all this crazy technical wizardry. I had no idea was possible. <clears throat> And Lynn asks, what color are you going to make the spikes? Are they gonna match the face or the blade or neither? I, I'm thinking that a magenta or a red would be really fun. Um, or the other thought I have is making them match the stone. Um, yeah, so we'll... We'll see on that. If anybody has ideas or you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see, let me know. I'm very undecided right now, but I think uh, some of these, like those dark blues and purples and magentas would be cool to pop out the face since it's so neutral. Glowing blue, ooh. Like bring, maybe I could bring some of these blues down here, up here. something almost crystal-like or glass. Oh, that's a great idea. I like that. Yeah, I'll do that. 
I'll do that. Glass could be dope. It would tie in with that gemstone. Yeah, my idea for this is that, like, this is a, a little water jar. <laughs> so, if you could pop that out, it would be like this. <laughs> and you, you put in the water in there, and then the plants reach in the little roots. And then that goes up the branch, and then it waters these. And it looks like water. <laughs> so that's the idea. And my other idea that I had um, talking to my boss at my job was um, since this has a crack in the blade, I thought it might be cool to continue these leaves. Maybe make little um, little leaf, or little vines are kind of crawling out. Like make this blade really feel like it's alive and, and thriving. You like that? Okay, cool. So, yeah, I, I was almost wondering if I could get this painted today, but I, I procrastinated too much. I was having too much fun talking with everybody. <laughs> uh, last use symmetry. We'll at least get the, the base color in for the spikes. And then I'll finalize next time and paint the... Uh, Refine the leaves, paint some little vines. So close, yeah. This has been, it's very close. It's very, very close. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So yeah, this is, uh... and then I feel like my next advancements on painting have been painting in live stream. It's like, okay, Corwin, you can do that in private. Can you do it in front of people? <gasps> Yeah. Ooh, Morbid Ordeal, he says, making dinner and brainstorming some stuff about the wrestling game. Trying to decide on an approach of how to apply effects to different entities in a way that will be easy to extend. Add one to a wrestler, star power, add $100 to cost of contract, etc. So yeah, the, the challenge is, uh, is making something that works now nicely, but also leaves a good framework for later, it sounds like. that uh that stuff's amazing to me <laughs> by the way um yeah i'm very excited to see to see your work and how you're approaching approaching exactly something that won't be too time costly to add new effects since there are going to be a lot of them <laughs> it's me austin it was me all along Um, I, I love the idea that when we get that framework going and you, we can just add in the written elements, it's going to be so exciting because then all we have to do is work on writing the characters, which will be a totally different experience. <laughs> I don't really like the way this little cut. I'm gonna keep this blade pristine. It has no broken edges. Goodbye, cut. You are you're not missed. Hopefully, I have enough undos. I do not. I messed it up. We'll repaint it. <laughs> <laughs> How's no caffeine going? It is oddly easy sometimes and then challenging. Um, it kind of oscillates like today was really easy and yesterday was really hard. 
Um, but overall, it's going well. Thank you for asking. It's, uh, yeah, I just, I noticed myself, um, I noticed myself just kind of crashing too much at the end of the day or whatever it would be. And I don't like, I don't like just crashing into bed and crashing at work. It's just, it's exhausting. Um, so yeah, that was part of my decision to just, okay, we're just going to do a week of just chilling out on that. Um, that being said, I think part of the weird dream thing is that I'm sleeping so much deeper that I'm having these wild dreams. You know, it does give me energy instantly. Oats, baby. Drave. LOL, I'm back. But right when I got done with chess lessons, I have to go for dinner. But I will stay on for the juicy views for you. <laughs> Drave, you're awesome. Thanks so much. I hope, uh, I hope chess lessons went well. Morbid Ordeal says juicy. We getting juicy in here. Make this outline a little thicker. This part. And even though I'm zoomed in really close, I'm just making sure that it looks good zoomed out that's my real my real goal Orbador deal says a wild Dan appears. Yeah, he's he's like the uh, it's like Bigfoot. Some people have seen him. There's a lot of rumors. Um, some say you can entice him out with a good UFO documentary and nachos, though. Morbid ordeal. It looks like there's a strong light right in your eyes. Yeah, it's. The camera overexposes it a little bit, but it's just one of these. That's really bright, but here is fine. Here, check it out with it off. <laughs> Boo. What I want to eventually get is a ring light to be up here go this way because that would be way easier on my eyes and it would actually look better too stream goals all right we're gonna slam these three beers and drive around <laughs> <laughs> see ya have a good night <laughs> don't know if you could hear but dan goes all right i'm gonna slam these three beers and then drive around don't worry, he's not. That's he's just kidding. Drave, hello, Morbid and Corwin. What are your keyboard and mouse setup? It's a great, a great question. Let's see if I could hear. Let's see if I can do this. I might be able to show you. Actually, let me save here. Okay. Here's that. So this is what my setup looks like. So I've got my, well, the cord doesn't reach very, oh, the cord kind of reaches. Okay. So <laughs> I've got my trackpad, got my keyboard, got this is like attached over here and I can move it around. Here I've got my, uh, let's see if I can do that. Got my Wacom tablet. Over here, I've got my iPad, and this is how I this is what I see when people chat. 
Got my, my books, my speaker, and then my monitor. And then um, up here, I've got my inspiring art. Ooh, so cool, right? <laughs> oh, and then uh, Young the Giant. Yeah. Ah! Okay, now let's see. Let's see. Morbid Ordeal says he's got a Razer Black Widow mechanical keyboard and a basic wireless mouse. Man, I want to get a mechanical keyboard. They look so cool. I love the way they sound. They're so tactile. Um, I don't know if that'd be annoying for streams, though, because it would be a clack sound. It's going to be ASMR. Maybe it's just more ASMR. H North. They make that click clack. <laughs> Too fancy, three me. Too spoopy for me. Um, yeah, it's always, I started to go into some forums to learn, like, I want to make one. How do I make one? And it was just so in depth. And I was like, okay, I have to come back to this. Can't do this for a little bit. Oh my God. All right, I'm feeling hydrated. I'm feeling fresh. <laughs> chug, chug, chug. All right. Oh my gosh. All right. We are fully torqued. Okay. This drawing is done. Um, oh my goodness. Okay. The flower falchion is done. I'm happy with the way it turned out. Feels awesome. 